Hi, so for today we're going to talk about the inverse of matrix and uh, we're going to solve some problems about how to inverse a matrix. So for this uh, video, we're going to have the steps on how we are going to calculate the inverse of a matrix. As you can see, we have four steps. Number one, we have to calculate the matrix of minors. We have to apply this sign of all factors. Number three, we have to transpose that matrix. Number four, we have to multiply multiply the resulting matrix by one all over determinant. All right, so for example, suppose we have this matrix 3, 0, 2, 2, 0, negative 2, 0, 1, 1. So what are we going to do is first, we calculate the matrix of minors. So by, by doing that, we're going to get the, the determinant of all of the uh, minors. So let's say we have for the row one, column one, we have this uh, numbers. This is the row one, and this is the column one. And it pertains here, okay? So all of the rows of column, uh, row one and column one elements will be blocked. So we're going, we're going to get the determinant of this one, okay? This one, we're going to get the determinant of that. So for the determinant of the row one, column one, or the A11, that would be uh, zero times one minus one times negative two. So simply the determinant of this. So that's zero, minus we have negative two and that is two because of the negative of negative. Okay. So moving on, we can get the row two column two. Okay, so the element zero here. So the row two column two here. Okay. So we have a uh, row 1, column 2, A1, 2. So, this will be block as well as this. Okay. All of the rows belonging to 0, and this is the first row, and all of the column belonging to that value will be blocked. Then you're going to get the determinant of the remaining. So you have zero two and this one. So that would be two times one minus negative two times zero, which is pretty obvious. Your a one two would be two. Okay. So that is how you get the matrix of the co minors. Okay. So for the third one. This is zero. Our point of interest would be row one, column three. So row one, column three. So what is that element? That element is number two because this is located at row one and column three. So all of the rows will be blocked and all of its columns will be blocked. Then get the determinant. So we have two times one minus zero times zero which is again two. Okay, doing this for all of the uh, elements, now we move on with uh, row two, column one, which if you're going to locate, row two, column one is this, because this belongs to row two and then column one. So all of the rows will be blocked and all of the columns will be blocked then get the determinant. So we have row two, column one. So we have zero times one, this one, minus the other diagonal, one times two. So that would be one minus two, which is negative one. Okay. We have three here. Let me just there, right? 
Alright, so we're done with row two, column one. How about row two, column two? So this means the row two, column two will be black. So row two and column two. We get the determinant of the remaining. That's three times one minus. Oops, this will be minus two times zero, which is actually three. Okay, and uh, we have for row three, column three. So row three, this is the, uh, I mean, row two, column three. That's what I mean. So we have row two, column three. So that is this one, row two, and then column three. Then get the determinant of the remaining elements. So as you can see, that would be 3 times 1 minus 0 times 0. So that is 3. Okay. So moving on, we still have 3 remaining. So we have row 3, column 1. So we're going to block row three and column one, and then get the determinant. So obviously that would be zero. Zero times negative two minus two times zero is zero. Then row three, column two. So row three, column two. So we what we have here is row three. Just adjust this. This is the row three and this we have column two. So get the determinant of the remaining. That's three times negative two minus here, three times and negative two times minus two times two. So this is negative six. Then we have negative four, that's negative ten. Okay, how about the last one? We row T column three. So we have here. Row three, column three. So we have row three, then column three, then get the determinant. Obviously, that's again zero because of the uh, zero here. Three times zero is zero minus two times zero is zero. So that's the first step. Okay, that's the only the first step. So we are going to write the newly matrix that we have formed. Okay. So the co-minors. of A is this. So row one, column one, the value is two. Row one, column two, the value is two and then. And uh, row one, column three, the value is still two. Row two, column one is negative one. Row two, column two is three. Row two, column three is two, ah, uh, is three and Row 3, column 1 is 0. Row 3, column 2 is negative 10. Then we have row 3, column 3 is 0. So these are your co-minors of the matrix. Okay, so that will be your co-minors of the matrix. Yeah. Let me just double check here. Okay, so this should be supposed to be... Uh, Row two, column one. So we have negative one, two, two. It's negative two. Row two, column one. Let me just check this. So we have row two, column one, zero times one minus. That's good. Right, continuing our solution, we find the co minors of A. So we're going to apply the cofactor signs. How do we apply that? Applying cofactors.
So for the cofactor co size of a 3 by 3, okay, it is actually uh, look like this. So we have positive, negative, positive, and then we have negative, positive, negative, then positive, negative, positive. So meaning for 3 by 3, we're going to apply this sign, okay? So we're going to multiply these signs to this co-minor matrix. For 4 by 4, you have positive, negative, positive, negative. Then we have negative, positive, negative, positive. That is for the case of a 4 by 4 matrix. So since we have 3 by 3, we're going to apply. So applying the cofactor, so we have 2, negative 2, because of the negative here, and then positive here. So we have negative 1 of the negative that becomes positive, then we have positive 3. Then because since this is negative, we apply it here. So we have negative 3, then still 0. This will be 10, and the positive one would be 0. So this is applying the cofactor sets. So you always do this when you try to get the inverse of a matrix. This is the second step. Okay, so just simply multiplying it by positive 1 or negative 1. This is always the pattern for 3 by 3 and 4 by 4. You have to follow this. So for number 3, get the transpose. So we're going to get the transpose interchanging the rows and columns. So it becomes 2, 1, 0, negative 2, 3, 10, and then 2, negative 3, 0. That's how you get the transpose. Okay. And finally, the last step would be multiplying the resulting matrix by 1 all over the determinant. So first, we are going to get the determinant of the matrix, okay? of the original matrix here. Here is our original matrix. And we are going to get the determinant of that. So the determinant of matrix A, take note that this is the original matrix given. Okay. This is the original matrix given, the determinant of that. And that's 3, 0, 2. So we have 3, 0, 2, 2, 0, negative 2. Then we have 0, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1. So get the determinant, we simply copy the first two columns. So you have 3, 2, 0, 0, 0, 1. Then you apply the method, basket method. So you have what? Uh, 3 times 0 times 1, then plus 0 times negative 2 times 0. Then 2, 2 plus 2 times 2 times 1. Okay, these are the summation of products. This one is on 2 and this one. Okay, that's the summation of products minus the other diagonals. This would be 0 plus, obviously this is 0. So plus 1 times negative 2, then times 3. And then plus we have 1 times 2 times 0, which is technically 0. So you just evaluate the determinant. So this is 0. This is again 0. So we have 4 minus, we have here 0, obviously, minus 6. So that would be 4 minus of the negative 6. That would be 4 plus 6, and that is 10. Okay. So the determinant is 10. So now our fourth step is to multiply this transpose matrix into 1 all over the determinant. So we have uh, the A raised to negative 1 as 1 all over determinant multiplied by the transpose matrix. So we have 2, 1, 0. We have negative 2. 3, 10. Then we have 2, negative 3, 0. 2, negative 3, and 0. So what will be that? So this is technically 
1 all over 10. So 1 all over 10. So the, the inverse matrix will be 2 all over 10, 1 all over 10, 0. Negative 2 all over 10, 3 all over 10, 10 all over 10, which is 1. Okay. 2 all over 10, negative 3 all over 10, and 0. So in other words, your answer would be 1 fifth, okay, 1 all over 10, 0. Negative 1 fifth, 3 all over 10, 1. 1 all over 5, negative 3 all over 10, and then 0. So this is how you get the inverse of a matrix. In case that there is a 4 by 4 matrix, you do the, the same thing. Okay, So you'll be having here uh, A41, A42, okay? so row 4, column 4. Okay? So basically, you will be having a, a minor of matrix that has 3 by 3 determinants. And again, after getting all of the co minors, what are you going to do is to get the uh, uh, co factor signs. Then after that, you transpose. And after that, you multiply it by one all over determinant of the original matrix. So that's how you do it. So I'll be leaving an example for you. Okay. So if matrix B is 1, negative 1, 2, 3, negative 6, 8, negative 1, 0, 2. Calculate the inverse of matrix B. Okay, that is your uh, work. Okay, that is your for example. Okay, so thank you so much for listening again. This is Ninja Abbott. Uh, see you for another video.